and they've yet to get to the front running Hammersmith, who's over the final flight, clear from Champagne Vacation, then figure ahead in Clondo, Bertie. Behind them, Custer's Mistake, Young Fitzy is next, and up to the finish, it is Hammersmith and Gavin Broder, all the way winners of the Kenny Developments Maiden. Hammersmith gets a congratulatory pat from Gavin Broder. Clondo, Bertie's just up for the second from Figurehead. And they've yet to get to the front running Hammersmith, who's over the final flight clear from Champagne Vacation, then figure ahead in Clondo Bertie. Behind them, Costa's mistake, Young Fitzy is next, and up to the finish, it is Hammersmith and Gavin Broder, all the way winners of the Kenny Developments Maiden. Hammersmith gets a congratulatory pat from Gavin Broder. Clondo Bertie's just up for the second from Figurehead. Pontus Poet Quarry Lil weakens away from the final flight. Nothing between Don't Have Time, who's edging ahead of Lady Deveshi, and then General Claremont, son of Hypnos, is next, and then Pontus Poet, 150 yards to go. Don't Have Time, and Paul Town, and driven out on the outside, laying down the last challenges, son of Hypnos, and getting up. Son of Hypnos is wore down, Don't Have Time, then Pontus Poet, Lady Deveshi, and General Claremont is next. Pontus Poet Quarry Lil weakens away from the final flight. Nothing between Don't Have Time, who's edging ahead of Lady Deveshi, and then General Claremont, son of Hypnos, is next, and then Pontus Poet, 150 yards to go. Don't Have Time and Paul Town and driven out on the outside, laying down the last challenges, son of Hypnos, and getting up. Son of Hypnos is wore down, Don't Have Time, then Pontus Poet, Lady Deveshi, and General Claremont is next. In the DC Gilligan hurdle, it's Macaloni, the leader, and jumped it big and bold. Quirt Evans, the challenger on the inside, and then Holy Macaponi and Jazz away towards the near side and is all but pulled up. Macaloni from Holy Macaponi and Quirt Evans in between them. Up to the finish. This is one tough cookie. Wins again at Galway. Macaloni beats Quirt Evans, Holy Macaponi, Dinny Lacey. Those days are gone. West Cork, Wild Way, and Jazz away has failed to pass me has been dismounted by Paul Townend. But facing the final flight, it's Tully Hoke Fort and Sean O'Keefe over the last from Eddie's Pride, who made a slight mistake. Then Lady Larom Yamato is running on in between those two, and then back to Batan and Brandy Harbour. But it's Tully Hoke Fort and Sean O'Keefe going to collect here for the O'Neills in the first division of the Galway handicap. Tully Hoke Fort wins very comfortably by six to seven lengths from Yamato. Lady Larom back to Batan. But facing the final flight, it's Tully Hoke Fort and Sean O'Keefe over the last from Eddie's Pride, who made a slight mistake. Then Lady Larom Yamato is running on in between those two, and then back to Batan and Brandy Harbour. But it's Tully Hoke Fort and Sean O'Keefe going to collect here for the O'Neills in the first division of the Galway handicap. Tully Hoke Fort wins very comfortably by six to seven lengths from Yamato. Lady Larom back to Batan. Hopefully next with Orcadian Symphony and No Logic over the final flight they go. Well, Joey and Dundee Lad, followed by Faraway Bay, who's making gains on the outside and closing with every stride. 150 yards to go. Well, Joey from Faraway Bay. Faraway Bay is collaring. Well, Joey, who's fighting back? But Faraway Bay gets up to touch off. Well, Joey, then hopefully mutual respect. Dundee Lad next ahead of Orcadian Symphony. Hopefully next with Orcadian Symphony and No Logic over the final flight they go. Well, Joey and Dundee Lad, followed by Faraway Bay, who's making gains on the outside and closing with every stride. 150 yards to go. Well, Joey from Faraway Bay. Faraway Bay is collaring. Well, Joey, who's fighting back? But Faraway Bay gets up to touch off. Well, Joey, then hopefully mutual respect. Dundee Lad next ahead of Orcadian 
symphony. As they straighten for the final furlong, and it's break even the leader from Zoffoli, and then right place, right time. Rocky's high is dropped back inside the final 200 yards, and it's break even in the lead from Zoffoli and right place, right time. Both trying very hard on break even, who's 100 yards to win this one. Break even and Sean O'Keefe. Sean on winning terms in an earlier race adds another here, as break even makes all for trainer Tom Mullins, beating right place, right time, and Zoffoli as they straighten for the final furlong. And it's break even the leader from Zoffoli, and then right place, right time. Rocky's high is dropped back inside the final 200 yards. And it's break even in the lead from Zoffoli, and right place, right time. Both trying very hard on break even, who's 100 yards to win this one. Break even and Sean O'Keefe. Sean on winning terms in an earlier race adds another here, as break even makes all for trainer Tom Mullins, beating right place, right time, and Zoffoli. Sizing Malbay from a long, long way back, and they're followed by Phil the Tank and Arctic Light. Several with chances inside the final furlong. Gary Forgene strongly pressed by Twilight Girl, then Dull Dido and Kalen's Angel. Sizing Malbay top question in Arctic Light, and it's Twilight Girl and Gavin Sexton in the center from Dull Dido, closing on the far side. Dull Dido and Twilight Girl, they've put that one to the judge. Then Gary Forgene and Kalen's Angel next. Sizing Malbay from a long, long way back, and they're followed by Phil the Tank and Arctic Light. Several with chances inside the final furlong. Gary Forgene strongly pressed by Twilight Girl, then Dull Dido and Kalen's Angel. Sizing Malbay top question in Arctic Light, and it's Twilight Girl and Gavin Sexton in the center from Dull Dido, closing on the far side. Dull Dido and Twilight Girl, they've put that one to the judge. Then Gary Forgene and Kalen's Angel next. It's just seen her over towards the near side in front from a challenging the lady in red who's keeping straight over on the far side and then Angel's working over time and pour the wine and kill Barry Chianti. Nothing between Jacina and the lady in red over on the far side inside the last 50 yards wide apart. The lady in red on the far side of Jacina who threw it away and then killed Barry Chianti and poured the wine. It's just Cena over towards the near side in front from a challenging the lady in red who's keeping straight over on the far side and then Angel's working over time and pour the wine and kill Barry Chianti. Nothing between just Cena and the lady in red over on the far side inside the last 50 yards wide apart. The lady in red on the far side of just Cena who threw it away and then kill Barry Chianti and poured the wine. <laughs> 